Hello Internet, welcome to another tutorial in the series of microprocessor and microcontrollers. In this tutorial, we'll talk about BCD operations in microprocessors, especially in the case of AT85, and we'll also discuss DA instruction, which is decimal adjust accumulator. And if this is something that interests you, then please keep watching this video. When we talk about BCD operation in 8085, uh, we have a scenario like this. We have two BCD numbers. For example, we have two valid BCD numbers. Uh, let us say 65 and 42. By the way, all the BCD numbers um, from 0 to 9 are represented using a, a code which is known as binary code, a decimal, it's a 4-bit code and it is 0, 0, 0, 0, 4, 0, and 1, 0, 0, 1. So all the decimal numbers from 0 to 9 are represented by a code which is 4-bit in length. So it makes perfect sense to put two BCD numbers into registers of microprocessors because uh, the microprocessor res registers are 8-bit uh, or 16-bit so we can put a BCD number which is either has two digits or four digits etc. In, in case of 885, we have this example where I've taken two valid BCD numbers, 65 and 42. And if I move these BCD numbers into, let us say, two registers like this, and in the third step, if I wish to add these two BCD numbers, they should give me an answer if two BCD numbers are added they should give me an answer 107 so in other words the result in the accumulator should be 07 and 1 should be the carry but that is what no, uh, does not happen in uh, microprocessors. If you if you look into the exact thing which is happening in the microprocessor, what it'll do is it'll save 65 as 0110 and it'll save 5 as 0101 and similarly it'll save 4 as something like this and 2 as this and when it goes to add these two numbers it will result in a number which is A7H now A7H although the result itself is correct A is 10 and 7 is 7 but the representation is not PCD and if you're performing operation on two BCD numbers you're expecting a result whose representation should also be a correct BCD notation and in order to convert this A7 which is an incorrect notation of BCD into 107 we use an instruction DA that automatically adjusts the accumulator if a number is a non-notational BCD number it converts automatically it into a BCD number for example we'll uh, use the instruction add B so it will perform this operation and it will give a result A7 into accumulator and then we'll perform DA 
and da will automatically adjust a7 or it will convert a7 into 107 now in this particular video i i wish to clarify the the fundamental behind uh, the da instruction what does da internally do in order to correct or adjust any number into correct bcd notational format so what da, da does is if if a nibble is greater than 9 it adds 6 to it and if a nibble is less than equal to 9 it adds 0 to it now in, in this case our result had two nibbles A and 7 now it will check for each nibble this nibble is greater than 9 so it will add 6 to it and this nibble is smaller than 9 so it will add a 0 to it and when it does so it actually performs the result in binary so adding a 0 to 7 would mean adding 0 0 0 0 to 0 triple 1 and adding a 6 means adding 0 1 1 0 to A which is 1 0 1 0 in binary so what will happen is any number which is smaller than 9 or equivalent to 9 would be added with 0 resulting in the same number in the result also and any number which is greater than 9 would be added with 6 so here we have we've got 0 and then we've got 0 and then we've got 0 and carry 1 the carry flows here and the carry flows here and the final carry flows here so as you can see by doing this small little trick that if a nibble is greater than 9 we add 6 to it if a nibble is less than equal to 9 we add a 0 to it we get the correct notation correct format for BCD and this is what DA does automatically in the background you do not even need to uh, think about it or worry about it DA does it automatically you simply need to add two valid BCD numbers if the result is a BCD number with correct notation it will add a 0, zero to it if it is not correct it will add 6 to the nibble which is greater than 9 and this will happen we'll take up another case for example we have we have 65 and let's say 45 in this particular case we have the result should be hmm, something like this right so let's see um, if we perform the addition now it will give me it will give me 1 and 1 0 and 1 0 and 1 here in 5 and 5 is 10 so I get an A which is understandable and then this entire thing is 11 so we ought to get 11 here 
so 1 0 1 0 is 11 so this is A and this is B so a microprocessor would give us the result as BA if we add two BCD numbers 65 and 45 it will give us BA which is utterly incorrect so this is something where both the nibbles are greater than 9 so what microprocessor does via executing DAA command is it takes BA both the nibbles and it adds 6 to it and when it does so it gets a it gets a carry 1 and the higher nibble is 1 again and the lower nibble is 0 resulting in 110 which is the actual BCD result so there you can see that if if two BCD numbers they they yield a result where both the nibbles are greater than 9 then DA would automatically add 6 6 to both the nibbles so all in all if DA is executed what you can expect is microprocessor will either add a 0 0 to the result or a 0 6 or a 6 0 or 6 6 uh, this is the case when none of the nibbles are greater than 9 this is the case where the first nibble is greater than 9 this is the case where the second nibble is greater than 9 this is the nibble where both the nibbles are greater than 9 like we discussed here and that is how uh, BCD operations are uh, done in 8085 especially the DAW instruction a very helpful if you are working on BCD numbers it takes away all the pain of manually performing the BCD uh, adjustments it does it automatically but the logic behind DA is is explained in this video and if you liked the content of this video uh, consider subscribing to the channel and look out for more videos in the future and I'll catch you soon take care bye